Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is on setting up a headphone system within Pro Tools that will accommodate more me systems such as the Behringer, Aviom, and Furman systems. At the bottom of the screen you will see certain shortcuts as I use them and I have put some of the ones that I will use throughout the video in the following screens. Okay, first a quick little demonstration of the selection techniques. I can click and shift click to select all tracks in between. And I can use command on a Mac and select or deselect tracks from my selection. If I hold down option, I will either select all or deselect all. I can use command again to select non-contiguous tracks to add to or subtract from my selection. And again, option selects all or deselects all tracks. Okay, now we're going to set up the mix window view. So what you're seeing on your screen is similar to what is on my screen. So pause the video as needed to make sure that you are showing what I am showing here. And next, two important shortcuts for do to all and do to selected. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna send all tracks to a main stereo queue. We'll start by selecting all of the tracks and we'll just deselect the main out. And then we will go to the last send slot on the last track and select new track. On the resulting dialog box, we are going to choose stereo for the width and aux input track, and we're going to name it Q left right. So we choose stereo and aux input, and we name it Q left right, and then click create. We see the sends show up on all the tracks and the new aux track. So we set its output to our system's Q left right output. If you already had some things recorded and a little rough mix going and you wanted to copy that to the headphone mix, the copy to send feature allows you to do that. So here's how we can do that. Okay, first let's look at how to see and view the expanded send. So we're going to command click on the send selector area of the send and that expands it. Or you can also go to the view menu in expanded sends and select the send that you want to see in expanded view. Now to copy the mix that we have going here up to send E, we will start by selecting all of the tracks and then we will go to the edit menu and choose automation copy to send or the shortcut command option H. From the resulting dialog box, we will choose current value for volume and pan and send E and hit OK. And now we can see that our mix was transferred up there. Generally, we want headphone mixes to be pre-fader so that any changes that we make do not affect the headphone system. So we are going to hold down option and click on the P in the send area to set them all to be pre-fader. And now we will set up more me mixes so that the musicians have control over these instruments and we don't have to make those changes. So starting with the bass, we will click on the send selector and choose new track. From the resulting dialog box, we will choose a mono aux input and name it Q bass and hit create. And we see the resulting mono aux input track named Q bass. We'll move it out of the way. Generally with sends to more me, we want to set the send to unity. So we will option click on the send fader to send it to unity. Okay, so let's set the bases send level to uh, unity by option clicking on it. Then we will choose another track to set up for more me. Choose new track again. From the resulting dialog box, we will say mono, name it Q acoustic guitar. And there is the resulting aux input track. Um, we will go to the lead vocal, do the same new track, mono aux input named Q lead vocal. Um, hit create and there we go with our aux input tracks we can click and then hold command and click on the lead vocal and move those over to the right hand side um, now we'll do a backing vocal again same thing new track mono aux input named Q BGV um, and then we will move it over to the right Okay, so now we need to route the output of these aux inputs to our Q system. So we're going to go to the track, we'll go to Q base, and we're going to route it out 
output Q1, go to the acoustic guitar output Q2. We could save some time here by using the cascading feature in Pro Tools. So we can use the due to all selected feature, which is option shift and add command, which is cascading. And then when we hold down those three modifiers and select an output from one of the tracks, it will set the output of the others to the next output. So we select Q1 from bass and we can see how it selects Q2, 3 and 4 on the other tracks in our selection. 